Hey everyone, Chris here, and today we're checking out Incident at Grove Lake. So the premise behind this game is a worker from Area 51 leaks top secret files and a tape to a private investigator. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, restricted area, no trespassing beyond this point. So this is clearly Area 51. Uh, I don't know if we're actually, I think we we're in the game or watching a cut sequence right now. So tons of warning signs, of course. Really dig this art style, though. Okay, some security cameras. Ooh, I definitely like this type of view. So you got some car rolling in. Oh, something's going up with the footage there. Initializing scan. Connecting to server. Okay. So is this someone hacking into Area 51? Oh, that dial-up sound, though. Oh, this is definitely not Area 51. Okay, I get it now. So this is the government kind of spying on this guy. Okay, click to begin. Unknown. Let's get this straight. You got out unnoticed. I mean, clearly not unnoticed if there's cameras on him. Hey, not so smart as they think at S4, huh? You know, so sure, let's make it a public place. Remember, Neither do I. Let's say the diner on... Good. I'll see you soon. I remember. Okay, so this is that. Oh man, those transitions are wild. Somewhere north of Nevada. September 9th, 1997. Okay, now we're in the actual game. So that was kind of the story before. Um, I'm not sure if we're the private investigator or the guy that seemed to have worked at Area 51 and got out with some secret information. I think that's what's going on. Seems like he got medically discharged. He, I forget what he said he had. Kidney stones or something? I, I, I already forgot in like two seconds. Um, I do not like that guy over there for whatever reason. Watch us be tailed. I mean, that probably makes sense. I'm watching you, man. Uh-huh. Totally not the CIA or FBI. And this van's kind of backwards. I mean, so is that car. Eh, I'm, I'm making a big deal of things that probably have nothing to do with it. Still watching, man. I mean, it is kind of weird. Okay, no, there's other people. There's other people. That was only this one guy. And then apparently we're meeting someone at this diner. I mean, I'm assuming it's the lone guy over there. Let's go ahead and walk on in. Okay, that was a weird sound transition, but okay. Got some breakfast. Can I get a coffee? No, he's kind of busy. And I'm assuming this is the guy. Yeah, the ledge stranger. Thank you for, for coming. I didn't know who else to tell. I've risked so much good getting here. They're following me. Okay, so this is me talking, I believe. I don't have much time, but please take these. Some files and just one of my many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. Okay, so we're clearly trying to leak some sort of information to the public. They need to know, but before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. There's a radio station I know of, you know? Please go and be careful. They'll follow you too. Oh wait, that's the- okay, okay. So he's the guy talking to us and then we're grabbing this stuff trying to take it to a radio station to leak it publicly. Oh, it does seem like we were being followed by two guys. This is clearly outside perspective. September 10th, 1997. So what is this? A day or two later, I think? Could have just said next day, but who am I to judge? Oh. So we got something on the radio over here. Okay, I think that's actually just like a regular talk host thing. Uh, let's pick up our tape. Do we place that there? I mean, this is clearly just the day after. Oh, okay. Blue screen. Oh, so we're going to watch what the guy's sending us. Okay, okay. I thought we had already sent it and they're posting it publicly or something. Oh, another one of these transitions. My eyes. The following tape is property of the United States government. Incident number 17. Example encounter. 
Example of encounter type F. Copying or distribution of this tape is strictly prohibited. Classification of this content is reserved to members with TES SEI clearance. Oh gosh, I have to read this so fast. The following took place August 19th, 21, 1997. Grow late, redacted. The tape was discovered and handed to local authorities September something. I cannot read that fast enough. Okay, you guys are just gonna have to read on your own. Contact facility supervisor. Oh no, okay, so we're playing through the experience of what happened, I guess. Yeah, August 19th, 1997 at 5.28 p.m. I could have sworn one of the little messages there said something about psychic or psychology or something or psychedelics, who knows. Ooh, okay, so this is kind of one of those found footage type games, but in the PlayStation style. I mean, I could dig it. Do not like the jitteriness of this camera. Kind of goes to the left and then kind of resets every few seconds. Oh, uh, that's so disorienting. Okay, let's keep going forward. I mean, honestly, it seems kind of nice and peaceful right now, but aren't I supposed to be an Area 51 worker or something? Why would I be out here in the middle of nowhere? Unless I'm investigating, obviously. Should have paid more attention to that briefing. Okay, that's a little bit of a weird uh, rock formation there. Oh! Oh, okay, so we're camping out here. Yeah, that's me right there on a little stump-looking thing, I guess. Oh, oh, top left, top left. There's a little UFO flying. And I just reset. Okay, so we're going to get kind of flashbacks, I guess. That's what's going on. Or I guess in this case, it would be flash forwards. Not sure. Was this our little campsite over here? There's some sort of mark in there. I'm not sure what. Okay, let's check out the signs. So the lake's over here. Anything else important? Can I zoom? Nope. All right, we're just going to keep walking, I guess. Flashlight? Nope. Got nothing. This guy came very unprepared. Jeez, okay. Just crows. I'm actually a little embarrassed. I got scared by that, but that was, that was a good jump scare, okay? I'll give him that. It's just eerily peaceful right now. Is that just a flower? It doesn't help that there's only like two pixels per thing. I feel like I heard a little buzz over here. Ah, it's just mosquitoes, I think. Oh, here's our little campsite. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, just a radio. Okay. So hard to make out details in this game. Okay, someone left their pants here. So is that us, or is that just footage we found? I don't know what's going on here. We also got a shirt there. Uh, are we going to find more items on the way here? I don't want to just look at the ground, you know? I mean, it's kind of too dark to even tell. Looks like there's something there. Might just be a shadow. Man, our guy is walking with a real sense of urgency here. He's just striding. Ooh. I heard a little... Low rumble. And we're in a little open clearing. Okay. I knew something was going to happen there. So where is this taking us to? Okay, probably another government message. Yeah. Hand back to page 42. Review the types of encounters. So they have four different types, apparently. The first kind, CE1. Visual sightings. UFO. Okay, thank goodness I could actually stop and read these. Okay, so the first kind, it's CE1. Got a little guy over there pointing at a UFO. Visual sightings of unidentified flying objects or UFO seemingly less than 500 feet away that show an appreciable angular extension and considerable detail. Okay, so close sighting of a UFO essentially. What's next? The second kind, CE2. A UFO event with physical effects such as interference, animal reactions, or physical trace like impressions in the ground, scorched or otherwise affected vegetation, or a chemical trace. So it's a combination of the two. So we see a UFO and then it leaves something behind. Or it does something, I guess. Alright, the third kind, CE3. UFO encounters in which an animated entity is present. These include humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of UFO. So pretty much an encounter with the alien itself or something like that. And now for the fourth kind, CE4. A close encounter of the fourth kind is UFO event in which a human is abducted by UFO or its occupants. And yeah, we got the little person getting taken up with like a tractor beam. So we about to be abducted. Oh wait, CE2. What was CE2 again? UFO leaves something behind, right? Yeah, yeah. I think.
So we're, we're kind of observing the night sky. I mean, did we come out here kind of knowing that? Oh yeah, there's a little white ball there kind of floating across. Totally just a normal star. Now there's two of them. Now there's three. Oh man, that would actually be terrifying to see in real life. They're just darting around in the sky. Okay, the other two kind of disappeared and that one's gone. Okay, so we had, so I guess we had just observed that, and then since it's a CE2, they did something or left something behind. Ooh, I do not like this. Somehow this is easier to see than in the daytime, just because of flashlight, I guess. Okay, uh, oh, there's a little opening over here. Uh, let's go see what they did. Hello? Oh, that's not what you want to hear in the woods. I do not like these walls. I know they're just bushes, but somehow that actually adds a lot to the terror here. Is someone there? Oh, goodness. I mean, yeah, they're definitely here. I mean, I should probably start walking away from it, but I'm just gonna, you know, kind of go towards it. Definitely not the best idea, but here we go anyways. Are those uh spotlights, am I supposed to avoid the light? Uh, I mean, I can't really do too much about that, right? Oh. Okay, sound like someone broke a stick behind me. And I heard walking. Where the heck was this uh, farmhouse looking thing? Oh gosh, the footage is getting corrupted. <laughs> Oh, so that's a picture of us kind of going crazy. Saw the UFOs over there. And now we're being abducted. So that's kind of the fourth kind, right? Wasn't this supposed to be a CE2? Ooh, triangular shaped spaceship. But the real question is, uh, do we see aliens? Oh, that's some weird looking structure in there. I, I feel like I saw something to the bottom left. Oh gosh, now we're inside here. Oh no, okay. Oh, this is trippy. Yeah, definitely not what I was expecting. Unless we're, you know, at their home planet already. Oh! Hey there, buddy. Uh, just hanging out. Is he floating? No, no, no. He's definitely pierced through the tree thing. Oh, whoa. Okay. These are some crazy looking structures. Yeah, because I think if we were in their spaceship, it'd probably be a lot more metallic or something. But who knows? Uh, this is not a good sign for what's going to happen to me, right? There's like four, maybe five people just being hung on trees. Why does it give me the option to walk over there? Do I dare? Yeah, I dare. Okay, it's just if I want a closer look. I was kind of worried it was going to trigger something. Uh, let's just keep going this way and maybe avoid the people on the trees. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. Oh gosh, why is there sound? Um, I don't know why that picked up so heavily. Oh. Are we being dragged? I think we're being dragged. Oh no. We're up next. But why? Oh, yep. Definitely being experimented on. Okay, so this is maybe still their spaceship. It just looks very kind of organic materials inside. Okay, there's one of their leaders or something maybe. Oh my gosh. And I guess that was it. So did someone else find this tape, that kind of Area 51 guy? 
and then he's trying to leak it to us, the private investigator. Because I'm pretty sure the guy that got taken up there never came back. That's kind of my assumption. The tape has now concluded. No further footage was recoverable. Tape will be added to Archive Section 4. Oh, psychoanalysis. That was the word from earlier. 452 up upon completion. And discretion is a matter of national security. Remember your oath and those who came before you. So yeah, pretty much just telling us not to leak it, obviously. Please eject tape now. Oh. So I wonder, did we actually end up leaking the footage? We're just kind of doing an overview of the city. Okay, got a car driving through. Oh no, okay, so I'm assuming we're in our apartment and that's the FBI, CIA, some government officials coming for us. I mean, they clearly were tracking the guy that escaped. Oh no, they're going to be at the door. Um, 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 hide? Is there a closet? No one's home. <laughs> oh, look at documents. Oh, I probably should have done this earlier. Got UFOs there. An alien. Another alien. It looks like they're floating the road. I'm kind of busy, guys. Trying to look at not secret documents. Yeah, totally. Oh, this one's kind of trippy. Again, all kind of aliens, of course. Uh, what can I do here? I think I kind of have to open the door, which is probably going to end badly. What if it's not the CA? What if it's aliens? Oh, gosh. It could be one of the two. Oh, definitely CIA or something. Are they just gonna... Yeah. I guess that makes sense if it was something that in detail about aliens getting leaked. And I'm assuming the tapes never made it out. So September 11th talk show host Art Bell receives a call. On the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, 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 I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Eric, Eric said you were. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and <laughs> I, I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're uh, they're, they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone. So give us something quick. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, what what we're thinking of as as aliens are they're uh, they're they're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of of. of military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military, I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them. And there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now aren't but they're not doing they're not doing anything. They are not. They want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> I think they oh. I, I started getting I think we lost him. Oh, so fascinating. Sounds like the aliens have infiltrated the government type thing and it sounds like they're either working together or they don't know they're being controlled by the aliens to you know take over the world get rid of populations really interesting so i wouldn't say that was really a scary game or horror game necessarily i think the scariest part for me was the crows but really fascinating the idea of you know someone leaks out information to the public and as we just kind of heard they probably got taken out so yeah like always thanks for watching and see you next time